Now we're going to see the troubleshooting of the thermodynamic trap sandwich version. To check the troubleshooting, there are usually two types of failures. One is open failure, the other is closed failure. To go through the open failure, check the trap installation. The trap should always be installed perpendicular to the ground with the main bore cap on the top side. To troubleshoot the open failure, check whether the trap is leaking steam. If so, check for any kind of foreign particle deposition between the seat and the disc. If there are fine scratches on the seat or the disc, do the lapping procedure. Once the lapping is done, reassemble the trap. The second type of failure is a closed failure, where the trap is not discharging any kind of condensate. To check that, ensure that the drip leg before the trap is clean and not choked. If choked or blocked, flush it thoroughly. The second thing one would check is the inline screen or the inbuilt screen. To check the screen, remove the strainer cap. Use proper tools to remove the strainer cap. Clean the strainer thoroughly with the help of wire brush and kerosene. Once the screen is cleaned, reinstall it into the trap and tighten the strainer cap. Also check when the trap is not discharging. Pour cold water on the cap and check the discharge pattern. If the trap is getting air locked frequently, replace the disc with the anti-air binding disc or loosen the cap and re-tighten it slightly. Give a gentle tap to ensure that the trap is working. This is how you troubleshoot a thermodynamic trap.